I, I showed like a, a, a whole bunch of apps. And one of the things that I that is true for most, if not all of them, is that they, they they're delivering a certain they're delivering value. As a designer who has also worked in technology and worked in business, um, I'm always thinking about sort of triangulating around these things and, and about how um, it's often uh, we're, we're looking for that center spot, that sort of sweet spot that that makes that where 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 it just makes sense from every perspective. I'm not the only one who's been thinking about it in terms of triangles. There's, I found a bunch of these different approaches that are that kind of show, you know, what's at the center and, and what's around it. And and um, and you know, one of the things that that I've been thinking a lot about lately is the way that these three different uh, perspectives, you might call it the business, technology, and design perspectives, are are really they're ones that are very difficult for us to inhabit at the same time. I think one of the place, one of the ways that one of the places where we get stuck in developing uh, mobile apps, and I, I specifically ideas for mobile apps, is, um, is that we're approaching it from one or two of these perspectives, but we lack, we lack the second or third. But thinking about it in terms of design mind, business mind, technology mind, and, and how to, to get at the center. The center, would, it would be the sort of this, this place where you, you, you get what you're doing from all perspectives. You get the implications from all perspectives. You can, you can flip around from these places, but it's really hard to be. It's sort of a, one of those, uh, it's hard to be in more than one at a time. So um, I think the, a, a key piece there would be to, um, to recognize where you are on this, right? If you had a pencil and you could sort of poke the spot where, where you are on this triangle, um, it's unlikely that you're right in the center. M try to get perspective, the, the complementary perspectives, right? So fill out your team in the right way, talk to the right people to get that advice, which is going to help pull that dot of where you are more towards the center, or the dot of where your app is more towards, more towards the center. Um, and uh, that those complementary perspectives will, will hopefully help you, will, will help you lead to something that, that just works from, from all perspectives in the way that some of these, some of these great mobile projects and apps do. And a final word on, on value um, is uh, something, is an idea that, I've, that I discovered this past summer and that has kind of really stuck in my head and hasn't left and that I want to share. And that's, um, uh, it's by uh, an artist named Jonathan Harris who wrote uh, a short essay uh, called Modern Medicine. And, and he does a lot of work in technology. And, and he, he makes this interesting observation, this interesting comparison, which I'm not saying is novel, but it's one that really resonated with me. And, and he talks about, uh, about healers and dealers, that technology tends to fall into one of these two, one of these two categories. Um, and, and he also calls them marketplaces and attention economies. It's a short essay. It's, I think it's a really amazing read. I encourage anyone who builds technology to take a look at this short essay. Um, the gist of it is um, that there are, um, that when you're creating a technology, you're deciding between you're, you're, you're imagining how people are going to use it. You're designing how people are going to use it. What he do, what he does is he contrasts um, the work of uh, some some projects like, for example, Air, Airbnb, um, which and he calls it a marketplace. In that in that I have I, I as a as a person as an individual I have a problem. I'm going to Boston. I need a place to stay. Um, and and Airbnb tries to help me solve that problem as quickly as possible so that I can get on with the rest of my life. And he contrasts it with, he doesn't name Facebook, but he contrasts it with something like Facebook, which, which is an intention economy, right? Facebook is a website that makes its money off primarily off advertising and off maybe sort of usage data, and, um, uh, or certainly gets its uh, sort of business credibility from, from that, from, from having a lot of people use it a lot, um, which is to say for them, they, they, want, they want as much of my time as possible. They're designing their tool to like grab me by the face and hang on to me for as long as they can. And that there are all kinds of negative consequences to that. Right? The, a, market, a marketplace like Airbnb is something that's very, that's, that, that, has, that leaves me with a good feeling um, and that helps solve my problem. Attention economies uh, are a, different, a bit of a different story. Um, it's... it's uh, uh, I may not always feel great after checking Facebook. Certainly for some people, feel really awful after, after hanging out on Facebook for a while. 
and it's and it's unclear what kind of value it's delivering over um, over over the long term but it, to anyone except for Facebook and its investors. I encourage you to think to to consider when you're designing and building technologies what um, uh, where you fall. And, and it's rare that anything would be purely a healer or a dealer, um, but uh, but think about where you may fall on that. Um, and uh, that's it. Thank you.